Since the DJI Spark is so new, a lot of people have a lot of questions about it still, and a lot of people don't even really know about its existence or haven't seen anything like this. So I was talking to one of my coworkers today, and they asked me a question that I did not know the answer to, and that is, how much weight can the DJI Spark lift? And we've all seen tests with the Phantoms and Mavics and everything else, but I have not seen anybody do a test yet with the Spark. So this obviously sparked my interest, sorry and I wanted to find out. Unfortunately, I don't have a digital scale, so I can't get a good readout that way. However, we can do an old school method, and that is going to be using coins. Now, I'm using coins because I can look up the weight of a nickel, or a penny, or a quarter, and so basically, I'm going to set up a rig on the Spark, and hook up a little basket or a bag, and start adding coins in there until the Spark can't fly any longer. And then of course, I'll take the amount of coins that I put into that bag and calculate it. Now, one thing that I did notice when I looked up is that depending on what year penny or nickel or quarter or whatever else you have might weigh a little bit differently. And so luckily, uh, Wikipedia and a couple other sites have broken down exactly how much uh, pennies weigh or nickels or whatever the, the currency is depending on the year. So there's certain year ranges. So 1998 to 2003, pennies might weigh three grams. Um, I don't, of course, know if that's exactly what it is. I'll look it up. So I will be using coins, which I have here, and I'll set up a small little rig, hook up the spark to it, and we'll fly it and find out just how much it can lift. Um, obviously, it's gonna hit a certain point where it just won't be able to carry very much. And since it is smaller, I don't think it'll carry too much, but we'll find out. So let's get that rig set up and get some coins suspended in the air. I've now made a pretty ghetto setup here for the spark. So I've got the spark, I've got four pieces of fishing line attached to each arm, and then I've got a piece of string here attached to a bag. So obviously I'm gonna have to look up and try to calculate a little bit how much the string, the hooks, and the little ring on here weigh, but it shouldn't really affect it overall. We're looking for more kind of a pound and ounces rather than, you know, it's gonna hold 35 grams since uh, one penny weighs approximately three grams, and so a penny doesn't weigh very much. So I'm gonna be doing those in groups. Um, so I'm gonna dig through here, see if I've got quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, and figure out what's gonna be easiest to do for this test. And I think I'm probably gonna be doing either pennies or nickels, since I seem to have quite a few of those. So I'm gonna split those into groups, and I'll start basically with you know maybe five or 10 nickels at a time, or pennies, and obviously I'll report whatever it is that I'm doing, and then I'll keep adding those in till the spark can't fly any longer, and then of course I will calculate and we'll figure out just how much weight that the spark is capable of carrying or holding. So here is the test for the spark to see just how much it can hold. Rather than count individual coins, I started with 30 nickels, and I'm just going to keep adding coins basically, and when it stops, we'll take a look at it, count out the change, and then calculate to see how much weight that the spark can carry. In an effort to save your ears from the constant propeller sound from the spark and my annoying voice and the constant back and forth of putting more coins in there, taking coins out, and trying to keep track of all the coins and everything like that. I figured it'd be easier just to summarize and speed this up so that way you can see the whole process. But basically, I kept adding coins in here and the spark would take off with it, but it wouldn't really be able to sustain that. And so it would take off and pretty soon it would give the message of motors at the max speed and they're slowing down to prevent overheating and the, the spark would come back down again. It seems like at the very beginning with the battery fully charged, it had a little bit more pull and didn't seem to be suffering quite as much. But overall, because of the batteries and everything that are used in there, it should be fairly consistent. But this the spark really just is not meant to be carrying very much weight. So it wasn't till at the very end that I kind of found at least for this test, a maximum payload for it to actually be able to not only lift it, but be able to fly with it. And of course you can see I didn't fly it around, but at least it was able to hover and move around a little bit as I, I was kind of correcting for some of the wind and everything like that. Plus the swaying bag of having the money or the weight on there really was uh, affecting the spark and causing it to not being able to hover as 
correctly and accurately as it normally does. So really at the end of the test here is when I determined how many coins and the, the total weight that the spark can actually not only take off with, but sit there and hover for a little bit as well. All right, so. This is where we're at as far as how much we can actually hold. So let me pull this over here and we'll count that out. Then 12, 13 nickels, three dimes, and two, 28, and 29 pennies, which I will go through and I'll figure out um, how much they each weigh based on the year because it might vary a little bit. All right, and the official weights are in for how much the DJI Spark can carry. Obviously, there's a couple times you saw where it would pick something up, but it wouldn't be able to sustain that. The motor warning kept popping up on the screen saying that the motors were either at max RPM or at max power. And so sometimes it would even give the error message, message saying that the motors are now going to be slowed down basically to prevent them from overheating. However, we did get to a point where it was able to lift quite a bit of, of change for the spark anyway, and hold that consistently. So obviously this is just kind of a, a ballpark, uh, well, this is a calculated amount, but conditions are gonna vary. So it was 90 degrees outside for me, so it was pretty hot. In cooler weather, I would maybe expect this to carry a little bit more. And uh, so obviously conditions vary, you know, with wind and everything like that. So keep in mind that this is more of just a ballpark and everybody's uh, exact amounts that their spark can carry will vary a little bit. So when I calculated everything, I had 13 nickels and a nickel weighs in at five grams. So that's 65 grams right there. We had three dimes at 2.268 grams for 6.8 total and then 29 pennies. And I'd mentioned before that depending on what year the penny was produced, it might weigh a little bit. And so the cutoff, I believe, was 1982 or 1983. So I had eight pennies that were the older pennies and they weigh more. So I had eight of those weighing in at 3.11 grams for a 24.88 total. And 21 of the pennies weighed two and a half grams. So for a total of 52 and a half grams. So after I calculated, it, calculated everything, that comes out to almost 150 grams. So it's 149.18 grams or 5.262 ounces, or 0.328 pounds, or kilograms comes in at 0.149. So not a lot of weight, but the DJI Spark, of course, is not meant to carry uh, really anything other than itself. And so obviously if you add little strobe lights or, or whatever, it will be able to do it, but that's going to hurt your runtime and the Spark won't be as fast and as agile. And uh, so yeah, so still fairly impressive that a small little drone like this can carry that. Now to put that into perspective, um, a baseball weighs about like five to five and a half. Also for around five ounces is one and a half decks of cards, a hockey puck, uh, almost. And uh, so yeah, so don't expect to carry a lot with your DJI Spark. However, do know that if for some reason you need to shrink yourself, make yourself weigh less than five ounces so you can actually fly around. So if you like what I did or you don't like what I did, comment below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll have more stuff coming out about the DJI Spark accessories, flying, crashing, hopefully not, and uh, other drone and camera stuff. And of course, if you have any questions or want me to do something else, make sure to comment below or send me a message. Thanks guys.